Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Web Development. So in this episode, we are going to be building a response image gallery. It's basically a couple of panels with a background image and a heading. And you are going to use a little bit of JavaScript, so when you click in one of those, it changes the class to active. And it goes wider by using a CSS transition. We are going to be using CSS transition, of course, and also Flexbox to align everything. If you are new here, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss our weekly videos. Let's get started, guys. All right, guys, let's start having fun, okay? As we always do, let's start really from the beginning here. Let's open our folder. And the folder, we can see just a, a couple of pictures, okay? Do not worry, I will leave you a link down below in the video description so you can download those pictures, okay? Let's close this for now and let's create our file structure. We go with a index.html, a CSS, and of course our app.js, okay? Let me close this for now. Let's create here our markup, okay? And of course, let's start with a link that's gonna connect our CSS to our markup. Next, we come here to the title, let's say something like Responsive Image Gallery, okay? Let's say here Flexbox and JavaScript. And right before close the body tag, we're gonna have our script connecting our HTML to our app.js, all right? And in here in the body, it's gonna be quite simple. We're gonna have a main container, and in this container, we're gonna have five divs, all right? Just five divs. Let's create this one, the first one. The class is gonna panel and active. And in the style here, you're gonna have a picture. I call this 01, all right? And still inside this one, we're gonna have a H3. Let's say, explore the world. We are talking about the nature. All we have to do now is copy this one, okay? Four more times, and you are gonna end up with five divs and five pictures and heading. That's the project is focused on JavaScript. Let me change the active here. Let's delete this. And quickly, let's change the numbers here. Two, three, four, and five. So you have five different pictures. Okay, let me put them side by side. As always, our journey, we are gonna type on the right, type the codes, and you see the results in real time on the left. Okay, you're learning by doing. Next step here, let's go to CSS. Here we are in the realm of CSS. So let's get started by copying the link from Google Fonts, okay? Let's import the Roboto Fonts. And let's just paste it here. And let's go next to our CSS reset, okay? Let's apply box size and body box to everything in our page. All right, now let's grab the body. And let's pick this color here, this linear gradient, okay? The next step here, let's make it flex, layout flex, align item center. Also, just find content center, okay? Put it just in the middle. And here, let's give it a height of 100 VH, the full screen, okay? Overflow hidden. And margin here is gonna be zero. Let's grab here the container that have the five divs, okay? Let's change this layout to flex, okay? Position this one from left to the right and we have the cross X top to the bottom, all right? So here it is, their layout from left to right and the cross X top to bottom, all right? 
and let's give a width of uh, 90 VH, okay? This, the full screen is 100 and you're gonna be using 9, all right? And as you can see, they are, lay they are layout as flex and default is row. Now let's go to the panel here and background size, let's say cover, okay? Then you can see the whole picture. Background position here is gonna be center. We also want background repeat, no repeat, okay? And for the height here, let's say 85 VH, okay? As you can see, almost the full screen. Let's give about the radio, make it a little round or its corners. And let's also change the color of the text, okay? Right now it's black, so let's change it to white. All right, it's easier to read. Cursor is gonna be pointer, so the user know he can click on it, okay? And the flex grow of uh, dot five initial is size, okay? This is gonna be change. Let's remove, oh, let's give some margin here of 10 pixels, okay? Let's separate them a little bit. And let's also add a transition when we change this class to active. Grabbing now the H3, okay, dot panel and H3. We want to, uh, uh, first of all, go to the panel here and make it relative because H3 is going to be absolute. Font size here is going to be 24 pixels. Let's increase it a little bit, okay. Position absolute. Let's Put it to bottom left corner, okay. Remove any margin here with margin zero. And we want it to show up just where the class is active. So opacity here is gonna be zero. Now let's deal with our panel active, okay. When this panel is active, or when he, when he has an active class, okay, something is gonna happen. And what's gonna happen? We are gonna change the flex from dot five that it's right now, so this the size, and it's gonna change to five. As you can see, a huge difference, okay, ten times bigger. And now let's go to the H3, okay. And let me copy this one, active H3, and let's set opacity back to one. So every time this panel is active, we can see it, okay? We're also gonna add some transition to opacity, okay? Dot three seconds here, easy in, and of course you can mess around with your own numbers. And here, as you can see, we have five panels. And when you go smaller like this one, it's not a nice thing to see, okay? So the idea here is remove at least two of them. And in small screen, you can see just three, okay? So let's go to the media and max with 40, 80 pixels, okay? And when it go that smaller, what's gonna happen? We're gonna change the width from 80 to 100, okay. This is good, but you can do something else. We can improve it, okay. The next step here, we are gonna use a pseudo selector, nth of type, okay, to remove two of them. So let's go panel. Nth of length of type, okay. And let's grab the panel number four and the number five, the last ones, okay? And here's quite simple. Display, let's say none. So as you can see, 
When we go smaller, we can see just three of them. Now let's go into GS. All JavaScript is gonna do is change the class to active, okay? As you can see here, we're doing it manually. We're hard coded here, but it doesn't make any sense. So let's go to JavaScript and let's create a variable and bring all this panel to it, okay? Document query select all and you're gonna select all of them, okay? What it does, it puts all, all in a node list similar to an array, okay? In fact, I can show you that right now. If I console.log that and open up our Chrome DevTools, you can see here they are, okay? You can see one, two, three, four, five panels. They are all here, all right? There is something else. Let me put more space in here, okay? There is something else we can do here. We can also target a specific panel, okay? Let's start with the first one is zero. You know the array index starts with zero. Let me select the second one. Okay, here it is. The third one. And it goes on. I know you got the idea. But what we really want to do is we want to grab these panels, okay, and loop through it. So panels for each panel. And in here, Let's add the event listen on click, okay? So every time we click, something is gonna happen, okay? Let's have this arrow function here. And in here, let me let me just illustrate that to you, okay? Let me console.log my name Rob Sumonese. And you're gonna see that, that every time I click in here, okay, I click once and you have Rob Sumonese. If I click one, one more, one more, and two times, and here is the, my name, okay? It shows you the power of JavaScript. But of course, that's not what I wanna do. What I wanna do is when you click on this one, let me see, panel class list add we are going to add the class active as you remember active is going to make the panel go wider okay so let's give it a try okay i click this one okay it's working it's working nice let's be honest the first function is really working but it's not removing the flex 5 as you can see here okay so it's it's not a small one but it's a big issue here and let's solve that okay what we want to do we want to remove the the class active okay so let's create a function here remove action class all right we can invoke the function here, but we don't have it. So let's create it down here. Okay, function. Let me just copy this one and paste. It's the same name, okay? Avoid some kind of typo. And here is very similar. What do you want? Want the panels for each. And here, let's say panel, okay? We are looping through those ones. And again, use the error function. And what we want to do here is panel class list remove. We're gonna be removing the active from each one of those panels, okay? So let's give it a try now. Yeah. As you can see, this one is active. Now the third one is active, the second one no more. 
Now the fourth one and the last one are activated. And as you can see, it's working very nice. It was just 14 lines of code and we did it together. So that's it guys. This is our nice project. The next week I'm going to be bringing more projects on JavaScript. I really want you to learn JavaScript. It's not hard. It's something very fun to do. Okay. If you like it, you know what to do. Subscribe and click that little bell. And I'm going to see you in the next video.